yard line. Snap to Keithan. Fakes the give on the play action. Once the throw does, goes long. Bostic got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. John Bostic. You know the voice, but probably not the face. The man with the call who's been bringing you Nebraska football the last 10 years is Kent Pavelka. 35, 40, 45, 50. Lance Lewis falls down. He will eventually, I'm convinced, throw himself out of the press box window. <laughs> there are no seatbelts in play-by-play -play booths. Perhaps there should be in this one. For three hours every football Saturday, Kent Pavelka is on stage. The maestro orchestrating the show. I remember he used to always, on uh, any play that amounted to more than a three-yard gain, uh, would grab my right wrist. <laughs> he had to grab something, I guess. And uh, which was no big deal, except he was jumping up and down at the time, and I'm trying to watch the, the action, you know, through, through binoculars. Now, you try to watch anything with your binoculars going like that. It's a very big mess. Well, and it's a bootleg right side, run pass option, McCann inside the 30, 25. Clips a tackle, falls down inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. I'm aware now that, that, I, that I have checked into another universe, you know, <laughs> but I don't, I'm not aware of it at the time. Crown the lone setback. Joseph, bootleg, left side off the play action fake, delivers it incomplete, a little low to Abdul Muhammad, but it was catchable. Abdul was backing up with the ball, trying to bring it in, and it was thrown a little bit too low. We're duplicating uh, in our medium what, what the experience of the game is. And, uh, and, it, and it's not hard to do. I mean, it's just that's, uh, I guess in answer to your question, no, it's not hard because it just, it, it, that's the only way you can do it, I mean, the way I see it. I mean, it's an exciting, uh, dynamic, uh, emotional experience. He pitches to Brown, he's inside the 15, breaks a tackle, dives forward on a great play. I just divorce myself from myself and, 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 and do the game. Which in Nebraska is the only game. And the only local radio description is brought to you by this broadcast team. That tends to make you really serious about, uh, about what you're doing. And uh, so as a result, we all really give it our best. And I mean that. I mean, you know, we, we put a lot of work into it before Saturday, before you sit down and do that game. We're all boning up right till the time the, the, the first... Uh, first snap of the, of the game. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to University of Nebraska football from Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. When Pavelka uses the term we, he's referring to eight other crew members who help produce the broadcast. Pavelka is both coach and quarterback. He prepares the game plan every week. That's one thing I do. I, I, I take notes every week from Monday on, and I end up with a, about 100 and 80 to 100 just little tidbits of information that I, I actually study and uh, and he really is uh, uh, ha has such a firm grasp of not only the team and the players and the and the matchup at hand and so forth but also of uh, of the rule and when you're in that kind of an intense situation you've got to be able to remember exactly what is what in terms of how many yards this penalty is and did it happen before the ball was snapped or after the ball was snapped i've never seen anybody as as firmly in control of of, of all of the information that he has to have as, at hand as kent is and with that game preparation like an athlete as kickoff approaches pavelka starts to focus we get some what i call a drone just the syndrome on and uh usually by by an hour before kickoff on Saturday, uh, he is a shadow of his former self. It's interesting to watch him because he kind of goes into a trance. When he starts calling it, it's like all of a sudden he's, he's into something and, and it's not even his, his normal facial features. And once the, once the play's done, he takes off his headset and he's back to Kent. What toll does this take on you? Oh, well, uh, I was kind of concerned about myself after the Kansas State game. <laughs> He's going to go long. He's got Johnny. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. First and goal, Nebraska at the three-yard line. I think I'm in pretty good shape, but yet I can tell the difference now after a game compared to five, ten years ago. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. I really am. Uh, and it takes a long time to wind down. Uh, so it does take a toll. Well, now notice in the KFA booth how the windows are open. They always have the windows open regardless of the weather, 
and they want the exact feel of the game as they describe it to you. And Kent Pavelka's touchdown, 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 perhaps as he continues his career covering Nebraska football. We'll be back in just a moment with interview with former OU quarterback Steve Davis.